last place, all empty, mm -hmm. white, and no soul around me except myself. Mm -hmm. On the horizon, I looked and I saw a figure walking towards me. Mm -hmm. And I had trouble trying to recognize the figure because it was so far away, but as it got closer and closer to me, mm -hmm. I began to get a glimpse of who that figure was. Mm -hmm. As that figure got closer to me, as you are to me, mm -hmm. I realized who that was. Mm -hmm. It was Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, the real Jesus, mm -hmm. as described in Sunnah, sallallahu alayhi salam. I threw myself at him, I hugged him so hard, and mm -hmm. he hugged me back. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, I felt so much peace, so much love that I never felt in my life. Mm -hmm. He gave me a message. He told me, my son, I love you so much. You must pray, you must pray, you must pray. Mm -hmm. I, would, I did not understand the meaning from that first time I received his message. Mm -hmm. But then I told it to everybody. On 97, after I left Honduras and I came here uh, to continue my education, I still had no knowledge of Islam at all or never heard of it. Mm -hmm. But along the years, in 2003, I had my first encounter with a Muslim, mm -hmm. Bosnian Muslim brother, Alhamdulillah, he's really good. And uh, that's when I began to learn about Islam, mm -hmm. about the real nature of Prophet Jesus, alayhi salam, about Abba's mother, Mm -hmm. The Virgin Mary, Radhi Allahu An. But was there some point now in your discovery where that dream made sense to you? Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, his message actually was to establish regular Salah, mm -hmm. the pillars of Islam. Mm -hmm. That's when I really understood what his message was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understood more about Prophet Jesus, about his real nature, as a prophet and a messenger of Allah, mm -hmm. not as a God as it is considered by so many other denominations. Right. I took Shahada on December 24th, mm -hmm. 2004, mm -hmm. Christmas Day for the Latinos. Yes. And the first time I went to the mass video. But wait a minute, when you yeah. accepted Islam on that day, what was the reaction of your family to that? Oh. They were all against it. Mm -hmm. They were all attacking me from left to right, mm -hmm. up and down. Mm -hmm. They were prohibiting me to talk to, to anybody, to the children, especially my aunties, anybody to mm -hmm. Islam. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to hear nothing about it. They were criticizing me. They were stereotyping me. Mm -hmm. They were all making assumptions mm -hmm. against me and against all Muslims, right. just like all the prophets suffer. Right. And how is that situation today with your family? Today, Better? nowadays, uh, it is all steady. It is like if it, it weathered away. Uh -huh. And what about, you talked about your auntie, how close you were to her. Yes. Have you been able to talk to her about Islam? Yes, I did. Actually, uh, she had the opportunity to come uh, and visit us to the United States mm -hmm. uh, a year ago. Mm -hmm. I did talk to her about Islam. I tried to get her to understand it, mm -hmm. especially the basics of it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it takes time for people to understand, especially, right. your, you know, my own family that they don't know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. And so... But let me ask you a bit about the Dawah because we all have a responsibility right. for the Dawah. And you know, the Prophet Salaam, he used to send people back to their own Salaam. tribes and right. their own groups. Right. So let me ask you, have you made any efforts, uh, Dawah efforts towards the Latino people here in America? Yes, I've done. Uh, through the years, I've met a few Latinos. Mm -hmm. I spoke to them about Islam. Mm -hmm trying to get them to understand the basics of the concepts of it. Yeah. But uh, somehow it is difficult, you know, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But also, you know, I see that statistically there are a lot of Latino people accepting Islam. I mean, I'm oh, from yeah. New York. I know in New York there are a lot of Latinos. Oh, yes. What do you think is the draw for them? Because, you know, a lot of them are strong in Christianity. Right. So what do you think it is that pulls them into Islam? I believe that the most strongest pull for them into Islam is the belief in one God. Mm -hmm. 